Ben Curran here, Wing Chun DC, and we're at tutorial number 10. Um, so today I wanted to do a video uh, analyzing the Chi Sao and the, uh, just the general, the Wing Chun of uh, a guy I really respect, I think he's very, very good. Uh, it's a guy called Philip Bear, he's a German guy, and his lineage, um, his uh, teacher was Wong Chung Lung, who um, uh, was one of the original Yip Man students, and um, Bruce Lee had a, a high, high, high regard for uh, Wong Chung Lung, and as did Hawkins. Um, Hawkins and, and Wong Chung Lung uh, had a lot of mutual respect, and Hawkins if you, uh, was my instructor's instructor. Uh, so Jin was my teacher, and Hawkins was um, Jin's teacher, and Hawkins was a contemporary of Wong Chung Lung, um, and they... Um, uh, they were friends so anyway so this is a video of philip bear philip bear as you'll see has um ha he, the guy only has uh one arm um i think i'm not sure what happened he, he had an accident or something but he's left he has no left hand um so it's even more remarkable uh kind of what he's able to do um so i want to give a kind of like a fair um uh kind of synopsis of or, or analysis of like what this guy's skill level is. I'm going to tell you what I see. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. What I like, what I don't like, um, and you know t things that you could take from him. So this is him um, uh, doing chi sao. I think demonstrating in a seminar. So if you look at how, uh, just how f quick his hands are. Very very quick. He's extremely coordinated. Um, so he's able to. Uh, one of the things I really like about watching Philip. Bear is that his ability to just even there right so he's attacking with two if you can see the, the mouse scrolling over right he does this really really well he's able to there he uses both hands really 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 well okay so one hand uh he, he's never attacking with just one hand one hand is always helping the other even that's just a uh, one example of it but um you can see when he does chi cell um he he's always using one hand one hand is either pulling or or striking so they're very very fast moves in he um yeah he's forward he's so what i like here also is his forward pressure can you see what he's doing he's pushing the other guy backwards so he's they're doing the cheat the wong chong lung guys have a particular type style of chi cell where they they, they kind of like shove it's quite aggressive. The the uh, it's very aggressive actually the way that they practice chi sao. So they they do the traditional sort of chi sao setup, which we don't actually practice like that. So they roll from bong sao to tan sao, and they have a kind of fuk sao that's going up and down, as well. And both partners will do exactly this, and they'll start pushing into each other. So that that's in you know it's better than not doing it I think um, because obviously you're actually dealing with pressure. Uh, we'll go into a little bit of the structure in a second, but. Um, if you look at what Philip Bear is doing here, um, he just starts to move forward and close the guy down. Um, and you'll see here, like he, there's less forward pressure here, but you can see the other guy's very, very uncomfortable. And he's, yeah, he is moving forward here, but he's doing a lot of striking, taking advantage of holes that he can see. Very coordinated, very good um, uh, use of hit, like his heels are planted to the floor. Uh, his elbows in the correct position. Punches you can tell you wouldn't want to take too many punches from 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 someone like this. And this is him, I think, in his fifties here, um, or at least in his late forties. No, I think fifties here. Um, so one thing that you probably will notice as well. So here's where I'm going to be a bit critical. Um, that a lot of the guys that he's doing chi sao with are not putting forward, they're not putting themselves a significant amount of forward pressure. So we can go back to this guy, look here. So this guy is not putting any pressure on him whatsoever. He's just trying to get his hands up to the set. So he tries to, he's trying to defend his center. So he's putting, he's doing the kind of partially the right thing by putting his hands up and keeping his elbows in to try and stop Philip Bear's attacks coming down the middle. So Philip Bear's attacking down the middle, right? He's trying to thread the needle. And this other guy is trying to um, protect his center line, and it's not going very well for him. Uh, there's a number, a couple of reasons why it's not going very well for him. Um, and we can see from the other guy here who does something similar. So this is another guy um, who's do, making a lot of the same mistakes here. 
Um, so they're rolling, saying, okay, A, he's not putting much forward pressure on, he's just trying to defend the centre line um, and not doing a, p a great job of it, neither is this guy. Um, so look, let's break down, okay, so we can break them down by, by personal, right? So look, we can see with this, this guy, um, the first thing that I notice is, look, his shoulders are out of position, so he rolls into a bong cell straight away right so this is one thing i don't agree with with wong chung Ling people that they they go into bong cell um which is the sort of chicken arm position that you see this guy and this is a bong cell this is a classic bong cell um and they go into this position without being forced to go into that position so they do it as part of practicing chi cell so it's when you go to practice chi cell you go straight into bong cell um and in my opinion that's not great because bong cell isn't an offensive uh, attack right you're not attacking with a with, with you don't attack with a bong cell so if you're not attacking with a bong cell you should never go into bong cell uh, unless you're forced to you should always be attack you should always be punching um so i think you starting chi cell you should just go in you know you should just start punching each other um obviously in a controlled manner but but um uh punching or pushing rather um so look this the, what's happening here was his shoulder was out of position so his shoulder's not attached to his body. So there's no connection between from his arm to his to his body. This means now that any time Philip Bear puts any pressure on him, that you see how his body just jumps back and forth. So he's jumping all over the place, right? So we can go back a bit. Right, watch just how much his body moves. Back there, he got pushed back. Yeah, moves back again, moves back again moves back again moves back again moves back. he's constantly moving back and because he's taking all that pressure into his shoulders uh, and his freight he's not taking any of philip bear's force down into his body if you look at philip bear actually philip bear um philip bear does not use his shoulders at all um he's actually got a very straight back which my instructor jim would always tell you about um or, or not necessarily straight back, but but his posture is good. Uh, there's re his shoulders are are are, are uh, okay. Look here, actually no. So look here, his his back is kind of rounded, um, as is this guy here. Uh, but you can see there's just a sort of bear has a kind of relaxation. There's a certain relax. He's a certain relaxedness that he he fights with, where he's not using his shoulder shoulders at all. It's very much in the hips. The Wong Shan Long style is very much in the hips. We try to go from the heel, so the legs are probably straighter for us, but these guys usually go, it's much more to do with the hips. Um, but yeah, but it's effective in its own way, you know. Philip Bear is, is again, I have no, um, I, I, I think he's very, very, very good. Uh, but you can see here, look, he's doing she's with somebody else here, but this guy again is not putting any forward pressure, he's just trying to defend his cent center line. Here we're back to this other guy again. So he's just going into bong sao. Um, this is bong sao lop sao drill, actually. This is a certain type of drill. Bong sao lop sao drill. But you can see his shoulders are hunched up. So he has a very difficult time dealing with any pressure. If you look at Philip Bear, Philip Bear is not doing that. His shoulders are much more pinned down towards his body. So therefore, he's not fighting with his shoulders. Um, so hold on, we can we can uh, rewind that a little bit so we can just talk about it a bit more. Um, so I think you, you know, what do I like about what Philip Bear is doing? What do I I like Philip Bear? The fact that he's so coordinated, I really really appreciate that. Like he's clearly worked very very hard at um, being able to the, the principle of Wing Chun that you're always using two hands at the same time. Uh, you never it's not never one side on one side off. It's always two hands on. Um, one hand is is helping the other. It's helping clear a path for the other, or just both. You're both attacking with both sides. Doesn't doesn't really make any difference. But as long as you're using both sides to attack, that's very that's very very high level Wing Chun. Um, that's what I do like. I think that, like his the Wang Chun Lung system is is uh, the, the the structure and the posture is 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 different from the way that we do it. There are many more bends and curves, so you can see this guy's back is curved. Even yeah, as I said, Philip Bear's back is curved. I think that actually might have to do um, somewhat with his. Uh, it just maybe he just has that's the way he's naturally 
his back is shaped um, because he because he's so relaxed when he does it. Uh, he's so relaxed when he moves that um, hold on, let's see. There's another video here. This is another another one channel video. Another. Uh, Let's see if there's any. Uh... Okay, here we go. This is more cheese with him. Um, so again, look, this, see what this guy's doing. He's going into Bong Sao, shoulders off here. This is a mistake I see a lot of Wong Chang Lung students do. Um, is is with this raised shoulder and going rolling into Bong Sao so much and and not focusing so much on their posture. And I think that that means that they're a little bit vulnerable when it comes to dealing with forward pressure. Um, and I don't know, you know, look, again, like I, I think Philip Berry is great, but again, I haven't really seen anyone put tremendous amount of pressure on him. Um, he's, you know, so it, from what I see, though, you know, he's very, very good. He's very, very good. And and I, and I got a lot of respect for the Wong Chung Lung style. I think they can, you know, they're definitely, um, they, they can fight. Uh, they got you know it's better than a lot of stuff you see in Wing Chun. Um, a lot of the stuff in Wing Chun you see is just, you, they don't, there's no pressure. So these guys at least, you know, um, practice with efficient striking. Um, you can ju you can just see that the, these you know they they can punch with power. some of these guys can punch with some power. Um, you know they're not just slapping hands and they're not just rolling their arms around. Um, there is some effectiveness here, but again, if you look here, look, this is a room full of like curved spines. So my instructor would be not happy with any of this stuff at all, and that's what I see when I look at this. I see too many curved spines, and that means it's it's uh, your your body isn't particularly efficient when it's dealing with incoming pressure that way. Um, you know, so again, that's the main issue that I see with with Wong Chang Wong Chang Lung stuff. But you know, on, on, on balance, I think you know Wong Chang Lung lineage is, is very very good, and I think that Philip Bear is probably the best guy that I've seen in that lineage. Um, I, he may even be better than Wong Chang Lung himself, uh, from what I've seen. The footage that I've seen of Wong Chang Lung, we'll, we'll, we can have a look at uh, another Wong Chang Lung video another time. But um, I I definitely think that uh, Philip Bear is the best guy that I've seen with the Wong Chung Lung lineage. And, um, you know, uh, as far as my critique of him, yeah, I don't have many, too many bad things to say about him at all. Uh, I like to look at all different styles and, um, I, you know, take the best from all of them. I think that Philip Bear, for example, um, his, um, you know, I just, I, I really, really love the co how coordinated he is. And I think that if you can kind of integrate that into your Wing Chun, um, you know you're gonna uh, if you can mix it with um, uh, an improved posture and and leveraging more from the heel rather than the hip, um, you can take some of the elements that the, the Wong Chun Lung guys do, particularly Philip Bear. You're gonna be very very effective, um, and I, and I think Philip Bear himself would he would be able to transition quite well into um, what kind of what we do. So I think he does a lot of that kind of maybe unknowingly. Um, you know, just I just see from the way that his shoulders are pinned down and uh, how how efficiently he uses his body, and he constantly uh, putting forward pressure on his opponents. It's just that his opponents don't put much forward pressure on him. That's the only issue that I see. Um, but anyway, um, so I hope uh, that was interesting, and um, you guys can kind of do some digging on Philip Bear. I recommend looking at his videos, uh, just looking, just kind of watching how he does things. Like he's he's a top notch operator, and uh, I think from what I hear, like a really good guy as well. Um, anyway, so we'll s I will see you next time in the next instructional video, and um, yeah, until then, take care.